Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. Today, we're going to be making stickers for our lumber. Why? Because we're all out. Even, even though inventory is like basically zero right now, our stickers are nowhere to be found because somebody's been taking them. Anyhow, that's not the point. The point is today we're going to be making stickers on the buzzsaw and you're gonna watch. Let's go. So we just got done running the edger and so what we're going to do is we're going to pull out some of these scraps as stickers. This way we're not cutting a log that could be good lumber, we're just using the scraps. Along with our zero waste system, this is just another aspect of it. A lot of pieces have bark on both sides like this, but there are a few pieces in here that only have bark on a little side of them. So like, see, we edged this piece off because of the defects right here, but stickers are only 50 inches long. So you can see we can get one good sticker out of this. So we're just gonna put all the good ones over here and then we'll cut them later down on the saw. So let's get to sorting this out quick and we'll get to it. All right, now it's time to measure these little suckers, I mean stickers, uh, to 50 inches. And we're going to use the buzz saw to cut this down. I mean, I call it a buzz saw. It's actually a Shark 700. You can take a look at it. It's a pretty sweet machine. It's really handy to have around because quite often we get customers who have uh, shorter vehicles. They didn't really bring the proper vehicle to pick up lumber and they just want it cut down. So they'll buy a 10 foot piece, but have me cut it down to shorter pieces for them. And I don't charge them extra. It's just a service that we have here at the log yard. So it's nice to have around because I don't operate a chainsaw. It's usually just my mom or my dad that does that. So this we can run and cut for customers and somebody with a chainsaw doesn't need to be here for that to happen. There are a few complaints I have about this machine. I might go into it later. The, um, this chunk of metal here that actually goes in and out, if you see, let me squeeze over here. So the whole thing rocks. It's pretty safe for an operator. They make it pretty safe. It is a pretty scary machine to run though. Uh, when you clamp it down, it allows you to move it forward. And what happens is sometimes this metal piece here that you see folding up into the machine here will actually come out. So you can see the end of it right there. Um, that's just how they built it. I don't really know what else to say. It's dumb. Um, really the only way is to go over here and yeah, kick it back into place. It is what it is though, and we'll just, I mean, I'll, like I said, we don't use it very often. We just use it to cut down stickers and once in a while a board for a customer. So it works good for that.
Where did that apple go? Ah, oh, here it is. Okay. So maybe this isn't the best knife for cutting an apple, but it is good for stabbing. And I'm down with that. If you guys are interested in having a custom made knife, I know just the guy. He is a phenomenal artist. I mean, just look at this, right? Um, and I actually leave his email down in the description of every one of my videos. So if you guys are ever interested in contacting him, just go to my latest video. He's right there in my description, as I said. Make sure to contact him if you're interested, but I need to get back to work before I get yelled at. All right, we got quite a few stickers out of just that little bit. And then the little off-ball pieces are perfect kindling pieces, and this is pine, so it'll dry nice and fast and good, and it'll be perfect for kindling. I actually much prefer the one by twos um, over the one by ones when I'm talking about stickers, because I like just having them be a little thicker, a lot less uh, cracking in half, because if you have a, little knot in one of them that we get them snapping all the time and breaking so it's nice to for them just to be a little bit thicker than one by ones not that we don't still make one by ones well i don't even know what this one is it's like a one by one plus a one by two i don't <laughs> i mean it works right the idea is that there's flow airflow in between all the lumber pieces so they don't have to be perfect this one has bark on it it's fine as long as they're half decent. I mean somebody's stealing them anyhow, so so what? You can have my barky piece of sticker. Now we can finally sticker what we just did on the edger now that we have stickers. We actually couldn't even put the stuff out there in into inventory until we got those cut. So now we can do that. The favorite part of the job, right? Stickering. Actually that was sarcasm. I really don't like stickering, but anyhow. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time.